Yo guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video basically we're going to be comparing the character options 12 Doctor Sonic Screwdriver right here which is actually said to be one of the best and most accurate toys that character options made of the Sonic Screwdriver and we're going to be actually comparing it to the £1,000 prop replica that I bought right here. As you can see, this prop replica is exclusive. Uh, mine is number 269. Will never be made again. I believe. So these are actually limited edition. Very collectible. And also a grand, so yeah. Uh, versus character options toy. Um, I'm going to be basically just uh, going ahead and putting together the positives, negatives of both of them, and comparing each other uh, basically to see which one is the best, uh, especially for value for money. I believe when I bought this new, this was like £20. Something like that. So, we'll definitely be comparing. So yeah, let's go ahead and take this out of all the bubble wrap. Uh, which it does come in, by the way. So, uh, came in this bubble wrap and a nice box here with some little packing peanuts inside. Which you don't tend to get with these. It just came in sort of like a cardboard packaging and that was kind of it. Um, which is what you kind of would expect for the price difference, but yeah. I'm going to go ahead and unwrap this, and we'll get you guys back in a second. So now that we have the outer packaging over and done with, the replica comes in a nice collectible tin, whilst as this one does not come in any tin or there's no real display piece or anything like that with this, um, so definitely points down to this one. Um, it would have been nice to have like a little case or something to put it in, just to like store it in. I literally just have to store this in a drawer, um, but like I guess it is what it is. Uh, this one is nicely stored in this tin right here. Super nice Gallifreyan markings on the outside. Um, but that's enough about this actual packaging. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. And um, you'll get into this video. It's for you. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I actually have a Master's Laser Screwdriver on the way. And I, funny enough, have the Character Options toy of that version too. So we're actually going to go ahead and do a little comparison on that one after the review comes out too. And I thought, you know what, we can do little comparisons and stuff and make it sort of a new type of uh, video that we can do with these. Uh, as you can see, this is my certificate of authenticity. This is indeed the um, 269th out of 500. So, not many of these around. Signed by the guy who makes the actual props for the show as well. Another point as well, which is very, very nice too. So yeah, as you can see, it comes in this foam piece right here. And when this is removed, you guys can see the actual Sonic. Now, uh, the first thing I want to point out is obviously this is cast out of complete solid metal. Uh, this is basically fully metalized. Whereas this one's obviously plastic. And to be honest, when you actually do put them, uh, when we let's go ahead and pick these up first. So I very carefully take this one out. I've tried not to 
um, try to refrain from taking it out of its box very much because I do have plans to create some form of Doctor Who film style content at some point and I definitely would love to use these replicas in them so I'd like to try and refrain from using them as much as humanly possible to avoid any unnecessary damage to them um, considering this replica literally did cost me a thousand pounds so I, I like to try and be pretty careful with them let's just say that so let me just pull this up here for you guys to see it's a little bit easier as you can see side by side it is despite as much as they said it wouldn't be hugely noticeable it really really is very noticeable especially in person too you can tell a lot the color differences too like you can tell that they've used more basic coloring here for all of this section and the shine of the metal is a giveaway but even the blue pieces they look a lot nicer quality um as you can see there's like little bits of crushed something in there in the paint which see if i can get this to focus on it as you can see it's much nicer as you can see this section as well it's quite bulky compared to the actual section as you can see that's much thinner and this piece is actually a bit more bulky so that might actually be a little bit inaccurate on this uh these pieces go out perfectly and stuff uh and you know the sliders looks decent it's all right on this one definitely um but on the actual piece it's a lot more nicer and it's well nicer to activate too but the biggest piece i'd say on these in terms of accuracy is the claws uh, when actually put right next to the prop replica as you can see the claws on here look absolutely amazing they also open up um, which I'll try and demonstrate for you guys right here see if this side will work for me today so as you can see it opens up the claws the claws on this one do not actually open up they're just completely molded to the side and they have these really kind of ugly looking rivets compared to these more subtle gold pieces that have been added on the actual replica um and the top piece as you can see the ones in this one seem a little bit more frosted I'd say but you can tell that these ones are more actual and you know closer to the original ones whereas this top piece does look a little bit cheaper and a bit more tacky now looking at it whereas this one looks a lot more you know looking at them side by side you can really really tell the difference there but yeah overall um, I just wanted to compare these uh, for the actual features of this as you can see you can hold it down but as soon as you let it off it, it just you know sound and light stop whereas with this one as you can see just click it down and it stays on it also has a very very nice click to it too which I want to get on camera too so which I think it's very very nice actually but yeah as you can see uh, when you actually do look at the details there are quite a lot of noticeable differences 
uh, between the two Sonics. Um, so if you just want something to take around and mess around with, not be too scared about throwing it and breaking it or anything like that, then I'd say get the toy. Like, it's pretty durable, you know. Uh, you can throw it around, do whatever you want with it. If you want something that's a lot more accurate than the toy, something that's basically going to be as accurate as you can get it, then go ahead and get the replica in all of its shiny glory. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of like a little bit of a video, um, just comparing the two the experience. Um, personally, as a collector and a huge fan of this model of the Sonic Screwdriver, at first I wasn't massively warm to it, but the more I used it in the show and actually buying the prop replica has given me a new love for this actual model of the Sonic Screwdriver. But no, personally, I think it's definitely worth it. Because this version just absolutely, in my opinion, is much better than the original character options toy. That's why this piece, I just, is really, really nice. It's one of my favourite replicas that I actually own. Um, but yeah, that could change very, very soon as I'm buying the laser screwdriver. It is currently being shipped to me right here. So by the time this video comes out, I'll probably actually have the laser screwdriver in my possession and could be making a review of it right now for you guys know. Um, but yeah, I will get that review out to you guys as soon as humanly possible um, with a comparison between the laser screwdriver and the replica version of the laser screwdriver. But yeah, overall, I personally prefer this replica version much more over the character options toy. Um, so yeah, if you guys can afford it, I would definitely recommend buying the replicas. They are super, super cool, neat collectible pieces um, that any real, any real huge fan of the show, um, especially with a bit of money saved up, would you know, it's definitely a piece worth getting. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So yeah, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's just an extra video, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers as soon as possible. So hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> hey. Let's go. Back. Yo. Once again, I'm back around, uh, real shit back in style, uh, haters reconcile, uh, I'm so black and proud, first class tickets now, uh, feet all in the eye, uh, everybody looking down, everybody get red when you drown, huh? Look at me up, I'm putting it down, you picking it up, checking the models, they want us to go to college just so we can be stuck, go to school to make a living, or teach yourself to make a fortune, common sense, welcome to the apocalypse, bitch, I'm one of the horsemen.